Hello everyone. Welcome to the screencast demo to talk about the new Conda environment feature that we recently released on uh, OCI data science platform. So assuming uh, you know you have set up your OCI tenancy, uh, created the appropriate policies to use OCI data science, and then you have launched, uh, um, successfully launched a notebook session uh, along uh, either using a CPU machine, a CPU VM machine, or a GPU VM machine. So uh, you know that is what I have done here. I've created a notebook session, uh, um, and you know I was able to launch uh, on a standard VM uh, CPU shape. And this is once I open this notebook session, this is what it looks like, uh, you know, with the launcher uh, tab in here. So most of you are already familiar with uh, how the environment looks if you are used OCI data science uh, platform. Uh, but with, with few exceptions, which, which some changes now with the Conda environment uh, that we'll, we'll talk about uh, more. So uh, before we dive into, uh, you know, why did we make the Conda environment and what is a Conda environment? So Conda environments are essentially uh, powerful, uh, you know, package managers. Uh, they support uh, various languages, uh, Python, R, Java. And it, it Conda lets you install and update packages inside, uh, inside that environment itself, uh, while you can use the Conda CLI to manage the, the life cycle of those environments. So in a sense, you can have different notebook uh, sessions uh, running in different environments uh, slash kernels, uh, each having different set of libraries, right? You could have Python libraries in one set of uh, in, in environment running uh, notebook sessions, and, and similarly, you could have another uh, uh, environment, you have another set of libraries where you could have a uh, few other notebook sessions. So, uh, you know, once you launch this uh, notebook session, you see this uh, launcher tab in here that will open up. Within the launcher tab, uh, you know, we have something known as Environment Explorer. Environment Explorer uh, is nothing but a, it's an extension in JupyterLab that allows you to uh, install, browse, and publish uh, the Conda environments. You can also go to the, you know, uh, the terminal window and, uh, you know, in the terminal window through CLI, you can, you know, um, access, uh, you know, the documentation or the help menu. So if I say conda dash help, right? So this, this will show me the list of uh, commands that I can use uh, within the CLI. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the Environment Explorer. That will uh, open up a new tab in here. So within this tab, uh, right, you see, uh, you know, the first tab that is highlighted is all Conda environments. So all uh, Conda environment tab provides a cart list of all the data science installed, published uh, Conda environments. So this this is this is basically superset. It it it, it is all the environments that are present uh, in your notebook session. Then the next is data science Conda environments. These, uh, within these, uh, you know, within this extension tab of Environment Explorer. So what we have here is we have all the content environments that are offered by the data science service. These environments are curated by the data science uh, service team. And you know they could be uh, focused on providing specific uh, tools or framework. For example, you could have you know we have one for PySpark, one for generalized uh, machine learning for CPUs or GPUs. You could also go to terminal window, and if you want to list uh, out all the Conda environments that are available through the data science uh, that are available or or or, or packaged uh, from the data science service team, so you can uh, you can uh, go into terminal window and type this command Conda ODSC Conda list. And this will list all the Conda environments, um, you know, that that come prepackaged uh, uh, as that come prepackaged within the data science environments. 
Next tab in the environment explorer is the installed content environments. Here initially you will see uh, everything is going to be null. Uh, right, right now I have uh, you know, installed a couple of content environments. That's why you can see uh, you know, a couple of them. But to start off with, when you start a new notebook session, uh, you, you, know, you will not have anything in here. So you will need to install the content environments um, uh, before you can start using, uh, you know, uh, the kernel and the associated notebook uh, session examples, and then these install content environments are stored in your, uh, you know, in in your block storage, and uh, you know. Uh, in your block volume. Whenever your uh, notebook session is deactivated or reactivated, all the previously installed uh, environments uh, are available for you to use again. So it's kind of a nice feature. Then the next one is published content environments. So this is, uh, you know, imagine you want to publish your content environment to object storage, and this could be for various region, uh, reasons. Right, you want you want to uh, have an ability to share, uh, you know, the list of packages that you have uh, compiled together, uh, saved it in in that environment, and you want some other teams uh, to use uh, within the organization or within your, uh, you know, own subgroup. So you can do that and and zip it to the object storage bucket, and then they can retrieve it from the object storage bucket. And another reason is uh, model reproducibility. So uh, you know, whenever we uh, save a model to uh, model catalog, uh, you know, ADS, which is accelerated data science, allows uh, you know you, you to publish this kind of environment that the model was trained on. So ADS always keeps a reference of that environment uh, in the uh, runtime YAML file, uh, which is part of that model artifact that was created. If you ever need to audit that model, you can always go back uh, to retrieve that exact Conda environment uh, that was uh, you know, stored in the object storage and then reinstall it uh, by pulling it from object storage. So next, uh, you know, all the Conda environments that are included. So we have uh, quite a bit of Conda environments that are, uh, you know, uh, included as part of data science service. Uh, right? We have one, uh, you know, uh, uh, classic uh, uh, you know, CPU uh, notebook session. This, this is, uh, uh, you know, the Conda environment that was existing. Uh, you know, imagine the world before uh, we introduced this Conda feature. So, you know, this was one monolithic uh, environment where we had all the libraries um, uh, in one place. So we, we have that also provided within the environment, within the uh, data science Conda environments, but this will be deprecated starting October, 2021. We have one for Oracle database. Uh, then we have the classic GPU, very similar to classic CPU. We have one for data exploration and manipulation only. One for Onyx, which is where you want to uh, serialize your Onyx models. Uh, then we have some specific, uh, you know, Conda environments, uh, just generalized machine learning for GPUs and CPUs. Then we have one for PySpark and then uh, NVIDIA Rapids, which is basically optimized uh, libraries to run machine learning models on GPUs. So now next, uh, you know, the next question is, or next uh, task is how do we install the condas, right? So to install the condas, uh, you can go about uh, two ways, right? First is you can use the Environment Explorer, click on install button, and uh, you know, that will give you this, uh, this command. So what you do is you basically copy this, go to your terminal window, and then uh, paste it in here and run this uh, command. That will, uh, you know, install the data exploration uh, content environment. Once it's installed, it will actually show up in here. Or alternately, you can directly go, go into your, uh, you know, uh, into your terminal window, type this command, uh, right? You, you can get the name uh, of the, you know, the, the environment or the slug uh, using the conda ODSE conda list, and then you can type it in here, and you're good to go. So once you have installed your conda environments, you can, uh, you know, clone that uh, environment. 
you can uh, you know publish into it into the object storage bucket or you can also you, you could also want let's say you want to delete that you can uh, do that uh, through the tabs that are men mentioned here so for cloning you can go in here same thing you can copy this command into the terminal window you can clone you know same thing with deleting you can copy this uh, uh, command uh, go into the delete uh, you know uh, and go to the terminal window and uh, you know you can delete that content environment same thing with publishing uh, you can do the same thing uh, for publishing uh, your uh, you know your content uh, environment so one important thing to remember uh, uh, for for the publish publishing action is uh, you need to first initialize your conda to your uh, you know object storage bucket name and your tenancy namespace so you can always refer to the documentation uh, which talks about in detail how to do that uh, you need to do that only once for the first time and then uh, you know subsequently you don't need to do that it's uh, you know the 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 names the bucket and namespace are uh, they 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 persist through activation and, and uh, deactivation of the notebook session uh, as long as you don't terminate your uh, notebook session. So, uh, so that is what you can do. So once you have uh, installed your Conda environments, uh, right, uh, you can also see, uh, you know, uh, go in here, uh, double click on Conda, then you can see which all the Conda environments that you have, uh, you know, have installed uh, on, on this notebook session. Right, so uh, I recently installed these, uh, you know, a couple of them, uh, you know, uh, for the screencast. So uh, one we were talking about is uh, the data exploration manipulation. So I can double click on it. So I can see uh, here, uh, right? I can go in and see my, uh, you know, my YAML file if I want to know more about all the packages uh, that are available, libraries that are available as part of this uh, data exploration manipulation. Conda, you can double click on it, and then it gives you uh, basically the manifest file uh, with all the associated metadata. So next, uh, you know, uh, once you have uh, installed co the condas, uh, the environments or the environment cards, now how do we use it, uh, you know, within our notebook sessions to write the Python code and use the associated kernel or access the, you know, the notebook examples that come with each of these environments. So uh, first let me talk about how, how to uh, open a new notebook session and associate the kernel. Uh, or the environment. So if I go in here, go in new and launch this notebook session. It's a new notebook session. So uh, so when I launch this, uh, you know, the pop-up appears and it asks me, what kernel do you want to use? So, uh, you know, since we are already talking about data exploration and manipulation, so I'm going to select that, data exploration and manipulation. So I say select, and you know, that's the kernel that is selected. So you can see, you know the, that kernel is uh, appearing in here. You can always go in and uh, change the kernel. Uh, you know you want to change it to root kernel, or you want to use the you know the general machine learning. Uh, you you can do that in here. So now next, uh, right? So this is I showed about how uh, you can open new, uh, you know, new, new notebooks and associate the kernel uh, that you have the condas or uh, the environments or the kernels that you have recently, uh, you know, recently installed. So the next is, uh, you know, we have. Um, uh, earlier, you know, we had notebook sessions in, in just one folder. Going forward with the condas, what we have done is we have provided notebook sessions uh, that kind of uh, go in hand in hand with the respective con conda environments that we have catered towards. So to access these notebook sessions, you know, you, you double click on notebooks. Uh, you know, that's one way, I'll show you another way. So uh, go to notebooks and then you have data exploration and manipulation. You click on here and you can see all the notebooks uh, that come with this condas, uh, right? So you can, you can click on, you know, data set uh, ADS data set. This talks about uh, how to pull data from various sources, uh, you know, uh, do data, um, exploratory data analysis and visualization. So uh, as, as this is loading, so let's go back here. So yeah, uh, this is up and running now. So you can see, uh, you know, this is the data set uh, that we were talking about. Right? 
So alternatively, you can al also go back to the launcher button and click on notebook examples, load example. So once you click uh, on notebook example, load example here too, you can see all the notebooks, uh, you know, th that are there, right? So you can see, uh, you know, uh, slash and uh, notebook notebooks slash data exploration manipulation and you know you can see um, you know this uh, uh, this notebook example belongs to data exploration and manipulation uh, right so that's the naming uh, convention that we have followed so let me cancel this go back uh, so to recap what we have uh, you know done here right so uh, you know what we saw today is, uh, you know, we saw how, uh, you know, we have created this uh, extra plugin within, uh, you know, within the Jupyter Lab to talk about the Environment Explorer, which, which uh, you know, which has various tabs where you have uh, all the Conda environments, uh, the installed Conda environments, published Conda environments. That's the place to actually manage that, uh, uh, you know, the cards environment cards. Then uh, we talked about uh, how to install these Condas either uh, through Environment Explorer or uh, directly going into the terminal and, uh, and, and, and typing in the commands. Then, uh, you know, we install the Conda environments. We, we also showed you how you can uh, clone, uh, you know, an existing uh, Conda environment, uh, right? You can delete an existing Conda environment and also showed you how you can publish the Conda environment into, uh, you know, object storage bucket. Then, you know, uh, we, we, we talked about uh, how to associate a new notebook to that Conda or that kernel whenever you open a new notebook. Plus, we also talked about uh, you know how to access the notebook sessions that are available in each of the Conda environments. So, uh, in in future, uh, right? If you need any more information, you are uh, you know I would recommend highly recommend to go to the you know the documentation page. Here, uh, this is the you know the overall documentation page about data science, uh, right? Uh, and and the condas uh, and the you know the documentation about condas is going is listed within using notebook sessions to build and train your uh, models. So uh, yeah, I'd recommend you guys to uh, take a look at this feature, uh, give it a try and uh, let us know if you have uh, any feedback. Thank you, thank you very much.